If you don't have a previous NovaChat editor installed, you can also download the new chat editor from our website. You'll just go to saltillo.com, support, and then click on the NovaChat device that you have. I'll go ahead and click on the NovaChat 8. Then under Downloads, you'll click on English. And under the Windows Editor section, you'll see NovaChat Editor version 2.0. Go ahead and click on that and save the file to your desktop. Once the file has been saved to your desktop, you're going to find the chat editor EXE and double click on it to start the installation. The first thing that it's going to ask you to do is to select the language that you would like to use during installation. You have a few different choices here. I'm going to select English and then OK. It's then going to take you through a chat editor setup wizard. Go ahead and click on Next. Accept the license agreement. Click on Next. Go ahead and click on Install. Again, you may want to pause your video here until the files have been extracted. Once it has completed, go ahead and click on Finish. You should now see the chat editor and the chat editor import folder on your desktop. To enter the new chat editor, go ahead and double click it. The new chat editor will support various configurations of systems. If you support multiple devices, you will want to create configurations to match each device's configuration. For example, Susan might use a NovaChat with English and Spanish vocabulary files with both PCS and Symbolsticks images, and Holly might use TouchChat with Symbolsticks only. This is going to guide you to create multiple configurations if you have multiple users. If you only have one user, you can just create one configuration. Make sure it says Create New Configuration and then click OK. Next, you are going to choose the device that you will be supporting. Your options will be NovaChat, TouchChat, and Words for Life Nova Edition. Go ahead and choose your proper device. For this example, I'm using NovaChat. Next, you will choose the language that you will be supporting. For a list of languages, choose the drop-down arrow and select your appropriate language. For this example, I will choose English and Spanish and click OK. Next, it's going to ask you to choose your symbol set. Your options are symbol sticks, PCS, or symbol sticks and PCS. For this example, I will choose just symbol sticks and click OK. You are then going to choose a name for your configuration. I'm going to name this Jens English Spanish Symbol Sticks NovaChat. You can choose whatever name you would like and then click OK. Once the chat editor is open, you can choose to switch configurations or create new configurations from within the chat editor by going to Settings, Configuration, and Switch Configuration. To switch back and forth between configurations, I can choose from the drop-down arrow and choose a different configuration. Or I could choose to create a new configuration from here and go through the same process again. If you only have one user or only need one configuration, you can check the box here to skip future selections and use this as a default next time. Once you have all of your configuration set up, you will not need to go through that process again. This chat editor can be used for both NovaChat and TouchChat files. There will no longer be a need for a separate NovaChat editor and a separate TouchChat editor. This one chat editor will now support both TouchChat and NovaChat files.